This were at least we're here in overcrowded Rafah where we're able to see and document the daily struggle of of the people in Rafah city in finding food and in drinkable water. So far, it has been very difficult for the 1.9 million displaced Palestinian cornered in Rafah city. The vast majority of them are in tent camps in Al Mawasa area. That's in western part of Rafah city where they lack the very basic supplies and infrastructure and all the necessities that help them survive these difficult times where we're looking at an overly hungry population just given the fact that there's no aid being delivered. The mechanism is broken. The, much of the commercial uh, attracts that have been allowed to private sectors are not enough. Or if they are allowed into inter Gaza, prices are tripled and sometimes went higher than what people are able to afford. They don't have the cash flow to buy them. They don't have the purchasing capacity given the fact that the vast majority of employees or private sectors employees do not have, did not have their paychecks since the beginning uh, of the war. Or even a PA employee don't have the, the enough financial capabilities uh, to buy. So the vast majority of people here, if not all of them, they are living on either one meal a day or they go for days. Entire families go for days without any proper food uh, to eat. And in fact, most of the canned food they've been eating, and given the fact that it's 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 it's, it's blocked on the Rafah crossing for so long, it goes bad and it's not suitable for human consumption. So we look at different uh, categories here, including those uh, the newborn newborn babies who are struggling and dying because of malnutrition. Those who are breastfeeding women and pregnant women as well uh, are not able to continue with their pregnancy or breastfeeding properly because they lack the, uh, the nutrients uh, needed for them to sustain their health and to continue uh, giving to their uh, children. Those who are, uh, uh, are able to move, they are filling the streets here. We see children uh, roaming uh, filled uh, streets, filled rubble streets here, just searching for scraps of food. And in fact, and according to a report by the United Nations and also the Islamic Relief uh, Worldwide, uh, they look at it the, the, on the internationally recognized five phases scale of, of food uh, cl that classify food a crisis. We look at a quarter of Gaza population, that's half a million people are in, in extreme famine right now. And that number, we're looking at people who remain in the northern part and Gaza City where for weeks now, they haven't been able to receive any, any of the food that's been allowed into the Gaza Strip, let alone the contaminated water that they've been drinking, leading into the spread of diseases as a result of waterborne diseases, risking the lives of not only the people who are able to continue, but also the most vulnerable group among them are children and those with, life, with health complications. The situations continue to get worse in each passing day and the fact we don't have a clear mechanism for humanitarian aid and much needed uh, medical supplies and, and, and uh, new essential items to help people survive. We're looking at entire mass uh, starvation for people. All of this is happening under intense bombing campaign that continues to pound across the Gaza Strip. Yeah, half a million people in extreme famine. It's a very troubling situation, very troubling numbers. Hani, thanks for that. Hani Mahmoud.